And so guys, Movie Man here. Jurassic World is here. I don't know why I would be excited for Jurassic World. I mean, I am ex I was excited actually cuz like, well, at first when I heard it was announced that they were doing Jurassic Park 4, I was like, oh god, no. Cuz what happens if it ends up like Jurassic Park 3 again or Jurassic World? And those ones are just meh. So I was a little bit unexcited for this movie, and then I saw the trailer, which the trailer looked really damn good, and then the second trailer was really good, and then the movie was awesome. Finally, a good Jurassic Park sequel. It, it yes, good. It is good. It's better than Jurassic Park 3 and The Lost World. Some people might be asking me, is it better or as good as the first movie? Why would you ask that? Because basically, Jurassic World is pretty much the same thing as Jurassic Park. I mean, it's just, it's the same old thing over again. You know, and, with, and this goes with a plot too. Um, so, you know, dinosaurs, you know, uh, somebody created an amusement park of Jurassic Park, but said they changed it to Jurassic World. And um, so, uh, Bryce, um, what's her name? Bryce Dallas Howard. Her character um, owns it, and she rebuilds the park. And pretty much, it's it's and pretty much it's something that John Hammond couldn't do, and that's just making the park successful and actually having people coming in. Until when they created a new dinosaur called the um, oh man, I can never pronounce the name of it. Anominus Rex. Anominus Rex. Yeah, they created a new dinosaur, but not just from you know physically from or. Genetic, not from physically from dinosaurs or such, they created their own. So it's pretty much their own monster. And um, as, as a monster movie, the dinosaur breaks out and they have to, you know, stop the dinosaur from killing all the dinosaurs and people. So, yeah, pretty much it's just the same thing as the first movie. Uh, everything goes wrong and the dinosaurs get loose and he eats people. Yeah. Pretty much that. It's just the same old thing. I, I that's just the, that's why I wouldn't really consider this as like good as the original because it's the same thing. And really, why would you expect something better than just what it already is? Is the same thing as the first movie. It, it's kind of weird. I mean, they did change. Yeah, they did obviously change a few things about it, but they didn't necessarily you know make anything new or anything. Except this time, what's new about you know how the dinosaur gets loose is that they created a dinosaur in the first Jurassic Park. Uh, Wayne Knight, well, basically he just kind of ruined everything by opening up all the doors and turning off all the electricity, and then you know all the dinosaurs got loose. But this time it was from a an intelligent dinosaur. And that is really interesting how they kind of do that. And I really love the idea that, um, like, like you could consider Jurassic Park as a monster movie because, you know, you know, dinosaurs can be considered monsters and the T-Rex could eat people and Velociraptors and such. This time, th th this dinosaur is an, is an actual monster. Like, it was not created from a dinosaur. Like I said, it was just created by man. Sort of like Frankenstein. That's the best thing about best uh, Jurassic Park. I can compare it to Jurassic Park because this is a guy who thinks he's a god in everything, and he creates his own little, you know, life and everything. But then everything goes wrong. It's just, you know, and same thing with this movie. Except this time, it's it's people that actually make a dinosaur, which that is so cool. If you could, you could get the reference to Frankenstein, which is kind of really cool. Um, now, the characters are very well written, like they're believable, they, the, the development was really good too, especially um, Chris Pratt's characters and ba uh, Bryce Dallas Howard's, well, but Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt, he was really good in the movie, he, I was a little bit worried if his uh, role would be a little bit repetitive as like Guardians of the Galaxy, like, oh, he's a fun guy, but at the same time he's a badass, it's sort of like that, but he's not all entirely hilarious about the whole thing. He's pretty much serious about the situation, which I really kind of like it how, which I kind of really like it that way. Like, he can be fun when things are fine, but then when everything goes wrong, he's just like, okay, let's, uh, let's get these dinosaurs, uh, up, rounded up and everything like that. Um, which he was really good. Bryce Dallas Howard was also very good too. She definitely, um, uh, I really like it how, um, because in the movie they'll, they'll kind of explain, because like, there's these two kids, which is basically kind of her niece, and I love it how, you know, she'll go through like, um, like, she keeps forgetting about the kids, and she's like, oh, they'll be just fine, but then when the dinosaurs are loose, she's like, shit, I gotta get those kids, you know, all that stuff, and I just really love how, they, um, with a lot of the development on it, it was really good, 
Uh, what else? Uh, there was other cast members that are good. The two kids are actually really good. Um, you know, they they portray as real kids in this, uh, as real kids in the movie. And you know, same thing with the first Jurassic Park. Although to be honest, I hate those two kids. They are just annoying as crap, especially when they get in, stuck in stupid situations, or because they're stupid. Like the girl flashing the light at the T Rex's eye. It's like, what are you doing? But uh, the kids are actually, but the kids are actually kind of smart about it for once, and I actually kind of like that. They're not annoying, and they don't scream, and they don't whine. They're, they're just pretty much scared and all that, which I think it's really cool. So you know, the kids are really good too, and so is the rest of the cast. The rest of the cast are very good. I know Vincent DeFrano was good, and then everybody else was good. I can't think of anybody who didn't do a, a good job or anything like that. Um, the special effects are really good, um, but that's just pretty much today's standards because. I think just pretty much the whole movie is CGI. I mean, there could be some moments where I'm just like, that could be practical. Like, there's like a, there's like a scene where like a, a dinosaur is laying down on the ground, or I think it's a Brachiosaurus, and then Chris Pratt actually pets it, and it does look pretty animatronic and a little real, but for the most part, I think the whole thing is just CGI, which it's good, but it doesn't really hold up or stands out as just like uh, the first Jurassic Park movie. Um, what else? The the ending scene, um, uh, the ending is incredible. Um, I won't give anything away about, I won't give anything away, but, you're, but it's one of those endings that just makes you go, Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Oh, damn it! This is so cool! My child is actually exploding! My, my inner child is just, it's actually, I'm letting out my inner eye, uh, inner child just be like, yeah, yeah! It's that good. The ending's really good. Now, if you do have any problems with this movie, I do have a few. There were some silly moments. I mean, actually, at the end, there was some a little bit of a silly moment. But like I said, I can't really spoil as much. So you know, there were some silly moments at the end. And um, what else? Uh, Vincent DiBrano, like he's a good actor and everything, but his character is um, eh. I mean, like I said, can't spoil anything, but there's more about this character that you'll probably get into and what I got into, or you see more into, and, um, I don't know, he just became a little generic. I mean, he's kind of, you know, the generic, you know, vil uh, villains, pretty much, cash grabbing guys, it's just sort of like, eh, I don't know. Um, but, you know, he visit the front was good, like I said, but just the character was okay, so, yeah. Um... What else? The CGI is good. There are some moments where it does look a little, um... Like, you could tell it's CGI. It's just kind of basic or generic. Not like anything hyped up or amazing or something like that. And, yeah. And also, um, another thing, the plot is repetitive when you really think about it. And also, for some reason, I could see this as, like, a reboot for some reason. Like, think of, like, there were... Obviously, this is a sequel, and they reference stuff about the first Jurassic Park movie. But if you take everything out from all, if you take the references all out from that movie, it could have been just a reboot. Because, you know, it's repeating the same story as, like, the, the first movie. Except with different characters and such. And it's just like, yeah, this is, it looks like a reboot, even though it's a sequel. So, that could get a little bit annoying at times. So, yeah. And, that's pretty much all I have to say about this movie. Um... It's definitely the best sequel out of all the Jurassic Park movies. I think this is what how a good Jurassic Park sequel should be. I mean, not entirely just repetitive or anything like that, but trying something a little bit new here and there, have good written characters, have good situations, and good suspenseful moments. Oh, and not also to mention foreshadowing. There's lots of really good foreshadowing in this movie. Um, I mean, I think what the other um, Jurassic Park sequels really missed is that, you know, there's lots of such stupid situations that the characters will get into, but it's not like how the kids in the first movie are just like, oh, it's okay, they're gonna be fine because the girl are gonna be there and stuff, but there's like stupid situations that the characters will do. Um, in this one, you know, the characters are smart. Like, like Chris Pratt is a smart character and Bryce uh, Dallas Howard is a smart character too. So I think that's the difference. The character uh, characters are much better uh, written from this movie than the other ones. Even uh, Jeff Goldblum from or even Ian Malcolm from Lost World wasn't really written that very well. So, yeah. But, however, you should not take this movie seriously and take it as, like, better than the first movie. Because, basically, it is it is the first movie. Just different. A little different. And it's an entertaining movie. 
that's the best way to describe it. It's a fun, entertaining movie with dinosaurs, and you will all love love that part. Just you'll be you'll just be um, not really amazed, but just more like having fun and everything. That's the best way to describe the movie. It's a fun movie, which I think that's what the rest of the Jurassic Park sequels to do. Because from the first movie, you really cannot top the first movie. So yeah. I would give this movie a B plus. It is definitely very good. It's not entirely original, but it is like very entertaining and the only good Jurassic Park sequel. So it's, that's actually kind of awesome. So yeah. So what did you think of Jurassic World? And also, out of all the Jurassic Park trilogy, which one's your favorite? I know there's some people who like the first movie or even like the other movies better. Comment it down below. Check out my other videos. They're really cool. Like to subscribe. Like my page on Facebook. See ya.